Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a very, very quick way to render clips from a timeline individually in a very, very quick and efficient way. I'm going to call it batch rendering individual clips. I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and I hope you guys will find it helpful. This will be utilizing Adobe Premiere Pro, as well as the media encoder that will, of course, come with a Premiere when you install it. So. Let's say you're working on a project and you have a ton, a ton of clips in the project. This one has about 11 clips or so, 12 clips or so. I do highlights videos, top 10 countdowns, things like this. So if you're doing videos where you're working with a ton of footage and a lot of that footage also happens to be the same in its properties and its, uh, you know, its bit rate, etc. This is a very, very good way for you to render these clips individually, one by one, but in a very fast and efficient manner. So we're gonna be using something here called nesting. And before I say and talk about all this stuff, I just wanna put out a disclaimer. I am by no means a super pro with Premiere. I am not an expert, but this is something that I do on a regular occasion that I think can be very useful to a lot of people using Premiere. So we're gonna be utilizing nesting. Now in order to nest clips, if you're unfamiliar with nesting, basically what it will do is it will create a clip within your project that you can then use and place elsewhere. And it's a good way to kind of copy and paste clips as well, use them in different areas and have different clips with different effects. And there's lots of different properties, but for this application, we're using nesting for rendering purposes only. So a lot of people, they try, they highlight all the clips and they wanna go and they wanna export everything. There is no way to do this. There is no way to do this in Premiere that I have personally found. If there is, please let me know in the comments section below. But as it stands right now, what we wanna be doing is we wanna be taking all of these individual clips and rendering them individually. So how do we do this? Well, you're gonna click your first clip, you're gonna right click and hit nest. It's gonna give you an option to name it. For this, we'll just go clip one. Actually, we'll just leave it because I like to do this efficiently. I'll show you how I do it. So you hit nest, you hit okay or enter. Then you see in your project, there is a nested sequence here. You can right click this and you can export it, but we wanna export multiple. So if you come in here and you go, all right, I wanna take the second clip and I like to nest it. I have this bound to one on my mouse because I have an MMO mouse, so I have tons of keybinds. Very nice for editing, by the way. Nested sequence two, boom. So now I just go through, I go one, enter, one, enter, one, enter, and then you're nesting your clips, boom, 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 and it's efficient. And what it's doing is it's creating you a group of clips in your project bin. All you need to do is highlight those clips. So what I do is I click the first one, I go all the way down to 13, I hold shift and I click 13, bang! I have this big bank of clips highlighted. All I need to do now is I have to hit export media, bang. Now you guys may be familiar with this window. This is a similar, not the precise same window to when you would normally export an individual clip. What we're doing here is we're exporting multiple clips. So I'm gonna just go with one of my presets here. What we'll, you'll see here is you do not have the ability to, to, to set your file path. This will automatically set the file path to your last render export location when you bring these clips into Media Encoder. You'll notice at the bottom, there is no ability to just hit export as normal. It will only give you the ability to queue these clips. So we're gonna go, all right, bang. We're gonna queue all of these clips. It's gonna take a moment. It's gonna fire up Media Encoder. Media Encoder is opened up in our other monitor because that's normally where I have it. But I'll bring it over here and you can see the clips are starting to populate into the media encoder. This is very, very good and it is very efficient for multi-clip editing or as I've called it, batch clip rendering. Now, with this, you can come in here and you can click and drag all of these clips and if you want them to go into a specific location, you can go and put them into a specific location. You can go one by one, you can batch export them with to a one location you can name them individually there's a lot of ability in here for me i will normally just export them as is change the names later if i need them to the one thing here that is also great about this is when you're utilizing media encoder if you weren't aware and you queue a clip it gives you the opportunity to continue rendering and it saves that clip as is so i'll give you an example say i don't want this to be in my project file till the end of time i'll just come in here and i'll just undo everything i just did and that's no problem because this already knows what it needs to do. So I can go back, I can delete clips, I can remove clips, I can change this timeline entirely. 
but these are already set to go and all you need to do is hit that play button start queue enter and it will begin rendering each and each one of these clips one by one individually and then it will give you a very very nice very nice looking folder like this so these are all the clips that i under you know individually and this is the end result so you have all your clips individual like that and this is not something that i have personally been able to find in any specific video here on youtube so i hope i hope you have all found this video helpful and if you do please let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button share it to your friends and and help me out because this is a trick that i looked all over the place for so i hope you guys enjoy it